The demand for hotel rooms in Dublin is skyrocketing, people paying an average of €209 Euro a night. Now, to give us uh, more insight into what's going on is editor of Air and Travel magazine, uh, Owen Corrie. Uh, Owen, the question of uh, price being an impediment to tourism, you know, are people saying Dublin, with the price of drink, the price of this, the price of that, uh, just not worth it? Not really. It takes a couple of while for a city's reputation for price to come through. Um, the same things that have been happening in Dublin hotels have been happening right through Europe. It, um, it's an inexact science because uh, particular events will drive uh, hotel prices to the roof. You would expect an awful lot of uh, headlines out of the uh, Notre Dame Navy uh, match weekend because there isn't a hotel room to be got uh, within 70 kilometres of Dublin. What we see internationally is that some of the cities that were regarded as a little bit cheaper climbing up the charts, whereas some of the uh, more expensive ones not really rising as fast. But is it going to impact on us internationally? Not really. Not really. Because... Because hotel, because airfares are part of the equation, and our air access to Ireland uh, isn't rising as fast as other yeah. European countries. Um, uh, the, what you're talking about in terms of the expense, I mean, uh, people complain about Dublin being expensive. Then you meet someone who's just been to New York, and they say you won't believe the price of things in New York. Or someone who's even been to London, and, uh, and the pound is not as strong as it was. They say, oh, the price of things in London, they, it's and, shocking. And currency. Currency is really important. I mean, the American prices are really difficult. Family of four would be paying $200 for a breakfast uh, in a hotel in, in America. But that's partly because the dollar is riding a little bit higher against the euro than it has. But certainly inflation is galloping through in America and it's galloping through in some of our key European locations as well. You know, the, the thing, things are getting better in Dublin and that's the really important things have happened this year. Uh, 393 beds arrived uh, from the Travel Lodge Plus in Townsend Street. You could see immediately almost the impact on short term rates. Um, you know, that that's a CBRE uh, survey mm-hmm. that you say was 209 euros. Some of the other surveys are coming in lower than that. But you're right, City West, 492 rooms, our biggest hotel, out of commission. But something very dramatic happened in the last month, Pat. We were being told 26, uh, 28% of all beds were out on government contracts, that has been re-evaluated. The total through the country is around 13%. So it's not as bad as the discussions we were having in April on your programme and in others about a shortage of hotel beds. It does look like the summer isn't going to be as dramatically short of beds okay. and as uh, own, it looked. Uh, before I go back to Lorraine on this particular topic, just finally with you, the, the question of hotels as investment opportunities. I mean, are there still people queuing up to invest in the hotel business you know, we'll probably end up with this uh, cyclical thing as we'll end up with too many rooms and then we'll be short of rooms and then we'll have too many rooms. But is it still seen as a a pretty gold-plated investment? Good investment. We're short about three and a half thousand rooms in Dublin. They during the noughties, the Celtic Tiger was huge investment. Then it became a bad, bad word almost. People prefer to go into apartments, things like that. I do notice that the debate about accommodation has entered into the whole shortage of uh, of long term accommodation area in Dublin. And uh, you know the planning permission decision uh, to turn down a hotel in Portobello because there were too many rooms in the area is not really good for uh, making up that shortfall and making up with those that, that problem with hotel bed shortage in Dublin. But, you know, investors, they were looking at, uh, they were roaring into hotels in Dublin. They then withdrew a bit. I see them creeping back in again, but not with the great sense of enthusiasm that they did in the past for those reasons that I outlined. Owen, thank you very much for joining us. Owen Corrie, editor of Air and Travel magazine.